Down Jersey, it's meteorologist Joe Martucci. The month of January has come to a close, and what a month it has been. We have had the most snowfall in January history at Atlantic City International Airport, and that 33.2 inches of snow puts us in the 10th spot of about 70 locations that the National Weather Service tracks on the East Coast. These are major snow reporting sites here. And we said just between the lake effect snow belt of Youngstown, Ohio, and the hills of Worcester, Massachusetts, up in New England for that 10th spot. And I'll tell you what, too, we are almost three times above average with our snow at ACY, over three times above average in Lower Township. That is very close to the number one spot of the most amount above average when you look at the percentage. Speaking of above average, our temperatures will be a good amount below average on Monday, just about seasonable for Tuesday on the lower end there. On the upper end is seasonable for Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday, we're in the 50s, but it won't come with a lot of sunshine here. And in fact, not even too much dry time to be out and about. We'll take a look at our Tuesday setup. High pressure is located in Maine around that clockwise spinning high pressure system in easterly wind here. And then as we go into the later part of the week, the jet stream, the river of air that separates two air masses will be over us. And the jet stream is usually the storm track and a storm we will be talking about as we go into Friday. We'll talk about that in just a little bit. For tonight, we'll see temperatures just around 20 in Weymouth and the inland towns, mid-20s over in Margate and the shore here. Snow-cooled air, and we'll see some areas of fog develop after about 2 o'clock, and that'll continue till about 9 o'clock here. You see our visibility. Some of those blues that you see there, those blue-greens, are indicative of some lower visibilities, and as we go into about 9 a.m., I think that fog does lift here. For our bus stop forecast, we'll rise to around 32 on either side of that by 9 a.m. here. Jack and jeans will do snow boots, too, to trek through that snow. Then for Tuesday, highs will be just around 40 degrees here. We'll see a mix of clouds and sun for our daytime hours as we do have a little bit of a warmer day compared to our Monday. Tuesday night, we'll see the fog roll back in again here. Temperatures just below freezing inland. I don't really expect any refreeze problems here even though we will be seeing melting throughout the day because that 30, the amount of time we're going to be below freezing is going to be awfully short, 35 at the shore. Then we go into the later part of the week, and there are two camps with this late week storm. The majority of the consensus is saying that this low pressure system will be north leaning and we're almost all rain. But the GFS again stands out here. It is south leaning and saying rain to mix here. We have had this GFS Euro battle for a number of weeks. Now, it doesn't matter what history has shown with these computer models for the most part here because the GFS, yes, was right on the January 3rd storm, but both were at least in the same ballpark for the last storm. Euro did have the edge for the majority of it, but the GFS did come into line here. So here's a look at what the GFS actually does have to say. This is Thursday at 4 o'clock. Rain in the northern part of the state. We are just warm on our Thursday afternoon and into the evening. Temperatures will only be in the 40s overnight. Then we go to Friday at 7 a.m. The GFS is showing this low pressure system moving right through the area, and we start to change into freezing rain, which is where you see those reds, and sleet, where you see those purples. However, that is just one model here. What we can say is as we go into February, it does look to be an above average month here. In fact, we have a 50 to 60% chance of being above average when compared to near average and below average. I'm going to tell you what, it does look like we are going to stay on the seasonable, if not cooler side for the first half, but I think we really open the floodgates for some warmer air for the second half. So if you don't like the snow, at least you have that to lean your hat on. Going into our inland seven-day forecast. You see that temperature climb as we go throughout the week. Thursday is a warm day, but it's a cloudy day here with areas of fog, and that fog can hang around all day long. Friday remains to be seen. Is it going to be all rain? Is it going to be rain to a wintry mix? I think we're going to need until about, well, we'll say Wednesday morning to figure that out. What we do know is on the other side of that, it will get cold here. And again, we're going to stay below average as we go into Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So again, first half of February, below average. Second half, well above average. That seems to be the plan. For the latest South Jersey weather, you can follow me on social media and come back to our website, pressofac.com slash weather. And for our South Jersey Snow Contest, we will announce the winner at the end of uh, this week or more than likely next Monday. We'll more details on that 